Hey everyone, this is Anka Metcalf with TradeOutloud.com and this is the futures market outlook for the week starting with April 15th. Now, there are a few things that are happening uh, next week. First off, uh, Friday, the market is going to be closed in observation of Good Friday and earnings are blasting starting with Monday that we actually had three stocks that have three financials that reported this week and we will have uh, many more into next week financials full throttle also option expiration day is going to be Thursday April 18th so be uh, also be aware of that all right, so um, with that being said, let's take a look at the markets and let's see where uh, where the trades are gonna carry us into next week. First off, we're gonna start with YM, the CME Dow. Large bottoming tail, doji style candle right here. We still have juice to take out the 500 levels. So next projected target for the uh, Dow is going to be into 500, really nice projection for the Dow. We finally digested this prior resistance into the 220. We have been hovering around 120 and 220 and finally blasting higher. The overnight trading session on Friday carried the price higher and we still have room for at least into the prior high. And this is from back in January and further continuation into the 26th. 966 and this is from october last october so we're trading into a nice tradable void well pullback buys are going to be front and center all right let's take it to the daily charts and the daily chart really nice reversal today uh friday and by the way today is friday when i'm doing this recording we have uh we have about uh, seven minutes left into the end of uh, the trading session, the stock market will close in about seven, seven minutes. Uh, and we had a very nice rotation here. We had a coil around the 10 exponential moving average, also minor support deriving from this prior pivot high from March and also from this uh, prior high that was set back in November. Uh, and this is uh, uh, actually December 3rd. Um, and uh, let me see here yeah it's from december and it's also from november okay november and december so those highs uh we still look for a projection higher so once we are testing and basically today we had a really nice test into the 400 level uh we're actually closing very close to this 400 level you can see here we're almost 10 points away from this uh from this 400 level and we're looking for a break higher into the 500 immediate trading ideas for sunday uh let's take it let's zoom in to the uh to the one hour chart so again we had a really nice price um uh price uh, um, uh, push to the upside and here it is you know we're almost trading into them uh, to the 400 now okay so a really nice move into the end of the trading session uh, the Imini Dow has maintained its strength and it's actually really nice follow of the 10 prices uh, of the moving average the 10 exponential really nice follow uh, uh for the for price at this point and like i said we're looking for projection higher back, back into this 500 i don't see a reason why technically speaking why we should not achieve this 500 level uh very soon all right let's continue with the m and &E smp uh, today the m and &E smp was in sync with the m and &E dow uh very strong we have a continuation on the weekly we still have uh, room for a continuation higher into the 2950. I actually had a webinar last night and we discussed um, the 2900 zone and a possible break of the 2900 zone that may launch the price back higher uh, into, um, uh, into this um, high of 2950. Sorry, I get a little distracted because I'm still in a trade in the mini &E Dow. So uh, long so I'm still watching to see how it taps onto that 400 because it just tapped under the 400 and it's just uh, hovering into that I'm very curious to see if 
this is going to be the launch pad the ramp into the last four minutes to make a new high so it's going to be very exciting here all right so uh let's zoom it into the daily chart the daily chart has projection higher has just escaped from uh, this 2900 and like i said it's entering into the void into the 2950 uh also uh nasdaq had a little bit of relative weakness this was the one index that actually filled the gap at the open so it decided to pull back and it's uh, basically um uh, uh, still uh uh still coiling and still ranging at the highs right here into the 7650 area 7650 uh breakout um will bring more buying pressure that may take the price back into the high 7728 and this is from October um, and uh, really nice consolidation here not giving up the intraday however take a look at the hourly chart so this is the overnight move we've opened the newer trading session and we filled the gap from the uh, uh, from uh, uh, basically from uh, Thursday so we filled the gap rotation rotation back higher the name of the game is going to be over the 50 to 55 so we break above we continue higher into the 7700 and like i said room to 7730 to 7740 at least let's take a look at russell and uh russell uh let me take it to the weekly chart weekly very strong kept on mentioning over and over again this is an inverse head and shoulder formation where uh 1600 is the neckline a break over 1600 is going to release more buying pressure that will take the price to 1650 1700 and 1750 it's going to move in 50 point increments uh this head inverse head and shoulders what do i mean by that how does it look okay so this it being the head this the right shoulder left shoulder and this being the neckline with the breakout zone um as far as the, the pattern goes it's really trying to grind into the uh into the uh 1600 on friday we managed to tap onto the 1595 zone very nice progression higher so we're basically five points away from the 16 uh 1600 breakout area so it looks very good for a continuation higher going into next week uh also zooming in onto daily chart daily chart you can see that finally we're tapping above the 200 simple moving average uh we had a first close on the 10th and then we came we pulled back but we held the support level back into the 1580 1580 massive support for russell russell picked up again from the 1580 again once a day today uh, once again today and pushed higher back into these prior highs now Russ, the, this consolidation of russell is very strong a break over 1600 like i said it's going to bring uh, a 1650 that is the next projected target zone let's take a quick peek at crude here and let's see what we have uh setting up for crude uh monthly chart is still very bullish so i'm not bearish yet on a crude um as long as the monthly chart still has a very very strong uh, uh, pattern for a continuation higher the weekly chart here you can see that we're still trading uh and we're still holding the support from last week's high so as long as we're still holding last week's high hooray go ym go dow go baby go all right so uh close of the stock market we still have 15 minutes left here into the dow and we're making new highs here uh in uh into uh let's see here uh into this uh breakout pattern in y in ym which i absolutely love so we're still into that all right so uh going back to cl now focus <laughs> okay um we're trading into resistance from these prior pivot uh pivot uh pivot lows into the 65 dollar area and what we need to see into this area is a full blast we may get a range here uh this move may not uh although it's very extended obviously it's just like and we have um uh executed this uh uh this pullback buy um off of this doji so very nice uh, uh move and it was in sync with the market indices the market indices uh, uh executed the same pullback buy zone and so did uh so did crude so this was a double whammy for price moving higher but uh moving forward like i said i'm really gonna focus on the price action here for uh um i would i'm gonna going to look at 62.50 
all the way into the 65 area for a consolidation should we pull back in i don't think this is going to be a massive call for a short but definitely this is something that i'm going to take note of i just want to bring very quickly the monthly chart here so you understand where i'm seeing all these areas of resistance so uh this support here translates into uh, into minor resistance for the price action um into the 64 uh 64 80 to 65 area that's why the price is getting a bit of a pullback here but nonetheless one two three four bars to the upside don't get me wrong we still may have choose to progress higher into the 67.59 back into this 200 sma all right let's take a look at gold gc i still have a position i still have a position in gold and this is for um this is for uh, um a swing slash core trade so i'm willing to hold this position for a lot longer a longer period of time all right let's move to the weekly chart the weekly chart has triggered has pushed a bit higher back digesting these uh lows from this area got rejected at the same location but it's still trading into this support zone so we have uh we have a support zone into the 1280 uh and now we have resistance back here into the 1315 so this area right here is going to be an area of interest because if 1280 is going to hold we're going to be looking for a continuation higher uh, daily chart let's focus on the daily chart right here so we came back up we had one two three bars up three days uh three days high and then the price got rejected into the 50 sma and back down into the 1290 zone uh if the price is going to trade again above 1300 this is going to be again a reload and an interest for me to take the price back into the 1315 and maybe this time around it's going to be you know uh we're going to be lucky enough where the price is going to break above these highs and push towards the 20. we're going to take it one day at a time all right one other thing of interest is copper copper has been um uh, and on friday had a really nice solid move to the upside it's finishing a week into the green uh and uh, it's testing more and more this three dollar area so this three dollar area is going to be an area for interest for a possible breakout that may take the price higher into this high of 3.3 so about 30 cent move to the upside all right natural gas and g here we go uh natural gas still not ready for any kind of move movements to the upside or to the downside uh today i've noticed that on the hourly chart it was coiling around this area but it has the it had the golden cross and it was trading below the golden cross i would be more interested if it dives more uh, into the 250 area 257 ish area or anywhere like that uh or at least 10 cents below where it is trading right now to become an area of interest what i see from the daily chart right now it's basically a rotation back down a revisit into the support level so we're gonna have to see uh how that settles it's a very messy chart don't really like to uh to take a look last bonds zb here it is the bonds we had a trade into the one uh, uh let me just show you very quickly all right so basically what the bonds did and this is the weekly weekly chart right here so this is last week's trading this is week this week's trading so we wanted to see a break over 148.18 in order for us to bring our stop to break even but because the price was not acting right yesterday we closed the trade at break even so we didn't occur any losses in it daily chart as you can see right here it came very close very close to this 18 it came into the 148.17 so that was close enough uh buy a tick for me to place my stop at break even it was target one achieved multiple contracts layer out as per everyone's trading plan my trading plan is to lay out a layer out to trim some uh and to trim actually of uh of half of my position into target one and then raise my stop to break even level so i don't incur a loss uh on a winning trade uh and we did just so so now 
it decided to pull back i have no interest in uh, no interest in the bonds as of yet they're pulling back uh into they're they they're probably not done yet and they want to pull back into the 146 level this is obvious because this is the next uh, level of interest uh, for um, for the bonds for the 30-year bond uh, we have the 50 SMA here they're still trending uh, and we do have this resistance that is playing is, is gonna play as minor support for for this price action all right guys this is all for now hope you all have a really great weekend and uh, I'll see everybody on Monday with more updates and live trading in the live trading room. Thanks so much guys and uh, uh, have a great uh, week and uh, hope you guys make a lot of money. Don't forget the market will be closed next Friday. Have a good weekend everyone.